Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I would uh, show you what I've been working on the last couple days, uh, which includes kind of a uh, building a, a new CV from an old CV for Reforged Eden 2 and playing them around a lot with Reforged Eden 2. Um, and that's where I'm at right now. Now I've only, only scratched the surface on Reforged Eden 2 right now, but I've been doing some little experiments so I uh, understand what's going on a little bit better. So the, this first experiment over here had to do a lot with um, uh, the CPU cores and how they how they differ from Reforged Eden 1. Now Reforged Eden 1 to achieve a uh, Core 9 build, uh, typically what it was called, would be one basic, two improved cores, and five advanced cores. With Reforged Eden 2, it's two basics, two improved, and two advanced cores. Now, beyond advanced cores, there's also superior cores and quantum cores. Uh, superior cores are <clears throat> do require quantum uh, processors, and I'm not sure how hard those are going to be to obtain in game. So right now, the way I've got it set up here is I'm just uh, these are all I guess you would call core seven builds. If you take a look at uh, the core setup in here, two advanced, two basic, two improved, plus your main core equals core seven. Um, and on a CV, that gives you 500,000 CPU. Now this this number does not translate one to one to uh, Reforged Eden one or vanilla. So it is just a unique number. So don't don't uh, look at this like, wow, that's that's three times less than what yeah, you got with a core nine build in Reforged Eden one. Um, numbers aren't, it's not apples to apples. Uh, so a lot of things are different. Um, Anyway, so that's uh, what you get with a uh, CV uh, with a, a Core 7 build uh, base. You're getting uh, 340,000 CPU. Um, and HVs and SVs, you get 18,000 uh, CPU on the same setup here. Uh, so, again, that doesn't, th these numbers don't mean a lot. Um, on this uh, HV example over here, I added in two of the superior cores as well. Uh, so that with two of those added in, uh, it brings it back up to what, well, here, let me group that, uh, to what would be probably considered a core nine. The thing is, as soon as I added those superior cores and the build cost, it requires a quantum processor per uh, superior core. So there's two superior cores on here, two quantum processors. So what I don't know is how hard would these processors be able to uh, be obtained in game? Um, if they're not too bad, then no big deal. Um, if they are similar to uh, obtaining a quantum uh, core in the in the game currently in Reforged Eden One, it'd be a lot of grinding and a lot of uh, working to try to get these. And that's why I kind of settled on this the Core Seven, I believe, is the replacement for. Uh, the previous core nine builds, but I could be mistaken on that too. I don't I don't know 100% yet But anyway, so just so you got an understanding on how the core configuration is let's move on here So the next uh, after I kind of was playing around with that a little bit to uh, kind of learn the CPU numbers uh, I, I wanted to see how some uh, fairly recent uh, Reforged Eden 1 Creations would translate to Reforged Eden 2. So uh, the first example I tried was the Wayfair SD2 Pretty recent build, starter CV, uh, pretty light on the cost and things like that. And I was pleasantly surprised here. Let's take a look at some numbers on this one. Now, I took one block out of this ship, um, and I'll tell you what that is in a second. But uh, you can see the uh, the Tier 1 CPU, 200,000. It's only using 155,000 of that. Actually, has, I think, extra CPU left over, um, which is cool. I, I believe uh, it could get a shield stock. It does not have a shield currently. Um, on this one and the one block I did remove was the basic CPU core that it came with originally so that's out of there and it's got enough CPU to not have anything but the main core in it um, and uh, the translation and cost um, well I think things cost a little bit less than reforging 2 anyway but uh, it brought this build down to 2 hour and 15 minute build time on the starter CV which is really good for you know what it is um and so I, I was pretty happy about that it actually seems like it has more cpu available uh and uh anyway so great results here so then 
I tried the next creation, another little starter thing here, the uh, Scarab Tree Cutter or STC. Um, didn't make any changes to this one at all. Um, CPU-wise, it's got uh, quite a bit of extra CPU, actually, uh, more so than it did uh, previously. So almost, you know, 1,300 extra CPU on this uh, creation. And one other thing that kind of caught my, my eye is I was looking at the stats, the motion on this thing. Now, this thing's running some really dinky little thrusters and stuff, uh, but look at the, uh, the performance this thing is getting, and especially if you take, check out, like, the yaw pitch and roll. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty fast now. It's, uh, it's quite, uh, quite an agile little scarab there. And, uh, it, interesting, interesting that it uh, has that much, uh, performance from the thrusts that are in there, which are just really dinky. Like this, some of the smallest thrusters for reverse, um, and strafing, uh, has a little bit bigger forward thrust, but this thing is, uh, super, super agile at this point. Um, so it's actually kind of, uh, both of these, gain some benefits actually going to reforge it into um so after that i went into a couple mid-tier uh creations here the mx5 and the mx7 the, the mx5 uh, very old creation was kind of revamped once uh this one was very easy to translate to reforging in two i just had to manipulate the core setup in it a little bit um and then it was uh pretty solid here if we look at devices um, this one is running two basics and one improved cores, and it balanced the CPU out in it uh, to 11,000. Actually, it's got, you know, over uh, about 1,300 extra CPU, a little more than that. Um, and similar results with the MX-7. The MX-7 was kind of built to be universal between vanilla and Reforged Eden uh, 1. <laughs> um, and it was kind of stripped down anyway with weaponry and stuff. And this one uh, translated very easily as well. Uh, even uses, uh, it's just running two improved CPU cores. Um, I tried two basics, but that wasn't quite enough. So I ended up going with two improves on it. But anyway, piece of cake. Um, now here's where the problem uh, comes in. Uh, going into previous Core 9 creations, uh, like this uh, recent Hades uh, uh, HT tank. Um, when I first spawned in this, one, one uh, noticeable thing that I seen right off the gates is it was missing all its all its uh, thrusters so the thrusters that were used in here previously were the largest of reforged eden basically this size thruster but they were only four blocks long and the new version is five blocks long and that's why the thrusters were uh, missing from this um, so in this case um, i was able to put a lot of them back in because i had this extra rule of blocks out here anyway i had to remove that so i could fit the thruster in again um, so I got some of the thrusters back in. Now, uh, it came stock with uh, two strafing thrusters per side, two forward thrusters, uh, and uh, two reverse thrusters of, the, of this size. Um, and as you can see now, it doesn't have uh, half of the strafing thrusters. So I, I, I got two thrusters out of the creation, and you can also see it has a whole lot less guns on it uh, than what it had uh, in uh, its Core 9 spec uh, reforged Eden 1 version, uh, basically it lost four positrons and four rocket turrets and two laser cannons that were up over here. Um, and the reason why all those are gone is I removed them so I could balance the CPU. Um, if we take a look at the CPU on this, I do have it balanced again. So it's basically a core seven build, um, not using the superior cores, uh, which take it to 18,000 CPU and it's using 17,504 of that. And that is minus um, two of the thrusters and most of its weaponry um, and all its shield parts. Um, so that's, uh, that's another thing. It had six stock uh, small shield parts in here. Um, as you can see, I also ran into issues because the advanced CPU cores are three blocks long and the places where they were located before are only two blocks in size. So I kind of slapped down a couple of them up over there for now. Um, but other than that, it really kind of sucks because um, I, gar I chomped up all that CPU uh, without even able to really get any guns on it. Um, and also no shield parts, um, things like that. So it's just, it really, really, really hurt this build. Um, and I don't really have any ideas what to do about that. 
Um, I guess just don't build tanks anymore. <laughs> uh, but uh, again, this is just a this is an early version too, and and I don't know if I'm getting some things wrong. Maybe you know, and I'm I'm taking it from a core nine and translating it to a core seven. Now, if I had the two superior cores in here, I would be able to get a lot of these parts back on the creation. Um, but those uh, those cores are uh, two by two in size, and I have no place to put them right now without rebuilding the interior somehow. Um, and I, I, where there's a will, there's a way. And of course, it could be changed to accommodate those cores. But since they also need quantum processors for those other cores, you know, I don't know what what we're getting into here yet. And this this is where I have a lot of confusion. One other confusing thing here, I want to show you something. Now, th now this uh, this build since it doesn't have any of its shield parts in, installed any longer, um, is running just this mobile shield generator for an HV up, up here. So if we take a look at this, this part here, um, this part says uh, it uses 1,000 CPU and has a shield capacity of 5,000, right? Um, so there's no other shield parts in here. It just has this shield. This shield says it does 5,000. I look at the creation, and not that I'm complaining, oops, uh, but it's got uh, almost 8,000 shield in it. I don't know where that extra shield is coming from. I just don't. It, it, I, I expected to see 5,000 here, and it's bigger than that. So I'm a little confused at where it's where it's getting the more shield from um, at this point in time. So that's, um, I don't quite understand. Um, I looked at other parts generators and things like that and uh here let's look at a, a generator um well that ain't gonna help much uh let's gen let's take a look at it. uh that's what it's got in here i wanted to see if these did any shield things i don't think they do so yeah it says nothing about shield on there so that was just one theory i had uh before i made this video is um Maybe like the generators give you some shield or something, um, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So I don't know where the extra shield's coming from. Maybe that's just uh, you know a bug or something that needs to be worked out yet. Uh, it very well could be as well. But as in translating this to um, what I believe uh, a core seven would be would be the new core nine, it translates very poorly, very poorly. Um, where I got to strip so much more off from it in addition to what I already stripped off. Uh, to make it core nine, uh, that it's just, it's not even a viable creation anymore. It's just, you can't really do anything with it unless you have a ton of CPU to add to it. Um, and I, I, I had the same results with the uh, MX6. Now the MX6 was a core nine SV. Um, when I first spawned this in, I noticed it was missing all its side turrets. Um, and I tried to balance the CPU out on this one again. Now keep in mind, a full loadout of uh, the CPU blocks would be 18,000. And that is, again, what I'm considering a full loadout, two basic, two improved, and two advanced CPU cores, not the superiors because they used quantum processors. Um, and uh, that's what this one has in it. So basically, I had to balance the CPU out on this. And I, I might have taken it to a, a bit of extreme so I could put a couple things back on it. But essentially, I had to gut it from all its guns it had a bunch of launchers in these locations i stripped all those out had the turrets on the side i stripped all those out i took out the the long range radar i think i took out a little bit more than i needed to took out some of the strafing thrusters over here some of the the forward thrust um but i did get it balanced out but i basically had to just gut it with all its weaponry again um on it and uh that kind of sucks so it does not translate well at all either um so basically uh, early findings have been that starter creations translate really well and uh, core 9 creations are not translating well at all. Um, so that's kind of what I'm seeing. Um, going on to another creation that I did the same thing with, the Helios MSC2, or the uh, fairly recent uh, Reforged Eden version. Um, when I first spawned it in, obviously all the solar panels are missing, and I knew that was going to happen. I knew solar panels were going away for Reforged Eden 2 on CVs. Instead, they're being re replaced by turbines, a different part. I'll show you in my current new project sitting there. Um, but uh, number-wise, uh, I updated the cores on this one. So if we hop in here, we can see we got, again, a Core 7 build-out. 
um, which brings it to 500,000 CPU. Um, and even with the solar panels out of this ship, um, it is far exceeding that um, by, you know, 160 some thousand CPU. And I didn't, I didn't remove anything else from it. Um, but it, keep in mind, this was uh, fully operational with its solar panels, which were creating a, quite a bit of residual energy for the ship. Um, without those, it's still over on CPU. Um, as in its performance and things like that, um, and I don't know if these numbers would uh, drag that down because it's not compliant. I think this is pretty close to how it was before in performance, so I don't think there's a big issue with that. Um, and that, granted, I could remove some turrets and more things again um, in addition to that, and, but then it has no residual energy being created because it doesn't have any of the solar panels either. So basically, th this one's hurt pretty bad too. Um, on creation. So basically, uh, that's what I'm seeing uh, on every every one of these samples. Uh, starters are great. Uh, core nines are bad. Uh, um, now, one other issue, um, and, and I don't mind these CPU blocks so much. I think they look all right. But if you were trying to translate older creations to newer creations, because of the different sizes of all these, these uh, CPU core blocks uh, from where they were before, that could really cause you a lot of problems, especially on small creations like the SV over here. Like, like for instance, if I wanted to get this up to par, maybe I could do that by adding in two of the um, superior CPU cores in addition to this one, but I can't fit them in the ship. Um, it's not big enough. I don't have the room for that. Um, so I'd kind of have to rebuild parts of the ship to make it a little bigger one way or the other so I could have enough CPU to run it how it used to be run at a core nine. So that's, that's kind of what I'm experiencing here. Um, of course, you know, even, even this tank here could be kind of brought back to life, I suppose somehow. Um, but I'd have to rebuild the interior to accommodate a bunch more CPU parts and things like that. So early findings, and I'm going to expand on to many other, uh, reforged Eden two things, um, in the near future here too, as I'm kind of building a ship in Reforging in two, and I figured that'd be a good crash course to really kind of figure it out. So let's talk about that. Um, first, this month's challenge uh, on the Anvil server uh, or well, with Anvil community is to either uh, finish a creation that you haven't completed in the past that's been sitting around for a long time, or uh, take a really old ship and make a like an MK2 version of it. I decided to do. Uh, the uh, MK2 version. So I took this uh, very, very old Carapace C2. Now this is a modded version of that ship on top of it um, by, uh, by Excalibur actually. Uh, and this was built in, I think, Alpha 6, maybe 7, somewhere around that, that, that time frame. It was predating uh, weights and volumes, shields, uh, most everything that we got in the game today. Um, in fact, this entire hull was built of combat steel and it's only lift thrusters where these little dinky ones here and a couple dinky ones back over here. And it was totally cool with that. Uh, it really was. It moved around just fine. Um, but obviously that doesn't work in today's gameplay. So uh, another issue I had with this ship before I started is the hangar space on it was um, the hangar door is a five by nine. So it's not a bad size hangar door, but it literally was so narrow or skinny back here that it was hard to fit anything in it. Um, I got a lot of creations myself of HV or SV nature that just, it's not big enough. It doesn't have enough depth to even park the creation in there. Um, so those were a couple of big aspects I wanted to change on the ship. And keep in mind, this is before weights and volumes, uh, which is also the, your storage controllers. Everything was done in cargo boxes. Um, and it uh, basically had some cargo boxes in the hangar. And the, had an engineering section a little uh, way down to a, a front entry ramp down over there. And then it went into a standalone production area, um, again, with cargo boxes. And this is kind of how it was done in the past. Um, with the weights and volumes and the cargo extensions now, you have to add in probably 30, 40 times the, uh, the amount of blocks uh, for storage than what you used to have to do in a creation. So it fills up your interior with cargo extensions much more than it would have uh, with the old storage system. Not that it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's just you know kind of how it how it uh, how it works. So obviously none of this would work either. These boxes, this would be worthless. 
uh, the whole the whole setup over here. Um, and then the rest of the ship basically had a little bridge, a couple pilot seats or uh, co-pilot seats, and then you had a farm up here. So that was the whole ship. So that's kind of what I started with. Um, it's an interesting fact, too, that uh, some of these older creations, when they were used in game and saved in, uh, uh, in game, they would actually save the, uh, the, the, the crops that were already grown in those grow plots. And they would bring in, like when I spawned this in, all these crops were here. Um, and I'm actually half tempted. I think I could probably copy that over to a new ship. So if you got a new ship with a farm and it had the grow plots installed, it would literally have the crops already grown in there when you, when you spot it in. I think that would be a huge cheat, though. So I, I won't do that, but I thought it was kind of interesting, interesting thing um, that I think could maybe work. Um, anyway, let's go on to the, uh, the new version. So I started out uh, with the same ship. So I just started modding this ship, basically, um, because I didn't want to recreate a new one. I wanted it to look very much like the original, but uh, be very uh, be up to date. And actually pushing right forward to Reforged Eden 2. So first thing I addressed was thrusters. Uh, I had a, uh, I replaced pretty much all the dinky thrusters with these much bigger ones um, in here uh, for strafing, for lift. Um, and I got to work out some block work around these thrusters over here yet. But so we got some four of these uh, larger lift thrusts, uh, strafing thrust, uh, forward thrust, uh, reverse thrust. Um, pretty much all those are kind of like re analyzed and uh new stuff was put in there another thing i was looking at on the original one was um back in the day you you didn't have this other uh wedge block set to do a 22.5 degree angle from from this position here so it was only 45 and um they didn't exist when i built this ship and i always thought it would look better if these angles were at a 22.5 here rather than a 45 so that was one of the first things i did is i kind of change uh, how these armor plates or whatever look uh, to a 22.5 degree angle on the sides. Uh, another thing that I did uh, to address the hangar area is uh, it didn't have a lot of room back here. So I basically took this one and extended the length of the ship two blocks in this location and two blocks in this location, uh, which is going to give it uh, another good solid four blocks for a hangar space on the inside which uh, certainly stretches that hanger out a lot more um so now you can park your you know all the the, the, the bigger creations in it so i thought that was going to be useful uh obviously another big uh, change was i uh moved all production to the hangar including a lot of the storage systems in it um now currently i've got this set up with uh, uh four 320s and two 640s uh these front two are 640s and the rest of them are, are uh, 320s right now now, one of those is probably going to end up being an ammo bay, unless I decide to put in an ammo box, um, which could be could be a viable option on a, on a build like this. Um, then I also moved some generators up into the hangar as well. Basically, I'm trying to clear out a lot of the area that I was using before with this really small uh, past uh, engineering area. So on the new engineering area here, um, I slapped in a uh, full-size shield, and I had to modify the, uh, the floor down over here i actually kind of built out this area here and these new block formations you can see that's different from the original over here um, so i could have that extra block space in there so i could fit the shield um, so that was another change and then i, I wanted this to also have a uh, 54 grow plot farm so kind of rebuilt the farm changed this layout a little bit and uh, uh, totaled up uh, exactly 54 grow plots now one unique thing about this ship uh, versus most of the rest of the ships I've made is there's no elevators on this ship. Um, it's all staircases. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Probably, probably not. I don't particularly like the elevators and how they work in game. Um, but uh, yeah, th this one is just has no elevators. Every every location you get to is done by staircase in the ship, um, for better or worse. <laughs> um, it, tactically, I keep on thinking like most of these starter CVs, I would have an elevator like here the problem with this design layout is if you wanted to go up to the landing pad on top it means you have to run all the way up over here and then run all the way here and then all the way up over here but you don't have to take an elevator to do it so uh i guess you know pros and cons um maybe probably mostly cons but anyway no elevator on the ship i might change that i might change my mind and put in the central elevator again it would be probably practical 
it's just it would be kind of neat to try to do a build without an elevator um again so anyway that's that's kind of where i'm at with this ship now in this uh engineering area uh, a new part in Reforged Eden 2 that I am uh, that do have installed in here, and don't mind the block work here. I don't like what I got going on here. I was trying some things and don't don't really like it. But anyway, these are turbines here. These are uh, and they are almost the same size as an advanced shield, or I'm sorry, advanced generator. Um, one block shorter though. So these are uh, two by two by five, um, and I've got three of these turbines in here. And, the, and these are the lesser of the two models available in Reforged Eden. Uh, but each one of these produces 500 watts of power uh, residually. In other words, to, they just get power from nothing. Um, and there's three of them in here. And so that would be the equivalent of 15 uh, large solar panels. I do, yes, 15 large solar panels. Um, so a lot of residual power in here. Obviously, though, as I'm, I'm going through the ship here, um, make sure, oh, yeah, let's get some fuel in here. Um, the big problem with these is they make a bunch of noise. They're really, really noisy. They got that kind of screechy noise going on, which I think is cool with the uh, the immersion factor and everything like that. But the, uh, the biggest problem is, is if you're up in the farm over here, it's all you hear is, you know, that, that sound. So... Uh, note to self, if, if you use the turbines, um, you might want to put them in an out-of-the-way place that the players aren't around a lot, like the farm, um, um, uh, because it probably become kind of annoying hearing that all the time. Uh, it kind of annoyed me already, actually, actually, when I placed those in, and then I was, like, working out some of the storage in here. Um, I was like, God, that's getting annoying. Uh, so... <laughs> Um, that's kind of the deal with the turbines. They're they're noisy. Other than that, they're 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 cool. I definitely like the uh, the part and the models are really really nice um, for all these new parts in Reforged Eden 2. You really got to hand it to the uh, uh, person or persons that are making the uh, these models for the for the game here. And there's all kinds more stuff I have not gotten into yet. Uh, but yeah, check this out. This is uh, one of the one I did look at. This is the new like drone bay. Um, instead of uh, being a SV constructor magnified about 100 times, it now has this beautiful, highly detailed, but smaller part uh, to use for uh, drone base, which I haven't actually ever used in a ship before. Um, and, but I will be sure to, uh, in the future, build a ship uh, to support drone base. That, that, is, that is a really cool looking part there. Uh, super, super detailed. Um, and a definitely a huge, a huge improvement from using the big, big SV constructor <laughs> thing. Um, so yeah, this is this is really awesome. Uh, looks great. Um, I noticed that this particular piece is not paintable, at least at this time. Again, Reforged Eden Two is a work in progress. So I mean, this is just early stuff I'm coming across. Speaking of other new parts, uh, check out the new constructors here. These are uh, super, super amazingly detailed as well. Uh, definitely like those. Look at all this stuff, and, and what? Um, and you can see I've got some colors on a couple of these. These are the new small constructors. Uh, they also look uh, really, really good. But one thing I was testing on this, and why some of these are painted uh, with some funky colors, is I put it. I first put in a custom color here because I noticed some of the uh, the reforged Eden parts um, didn't respond to custom colors before. Um, and so I was testing that and I, w I wanted to see uh, how you could paint these. So here we got a custom color and it works and it works just like the, uh, the newer uh, constructors for the SVs and whatnot. And you have multiple different colors you can paint and uh, they also respond to the custom colors that you have in there. So ideal, uh, I, nothing, nothing to complain about at all. You could uh, paint your uh, new, uh, a lot of these new parts very, very nicely. The same thing carries across to the uh, small constructors as well. And beyond that, I mean, if you look at the parts, and I have not been through so many of them. There's so many other kinds of parts. Haven't been into the shield parts yet. Um, there's this other piece here, quantum matter transmitter. I got to assume it's a Wi-Fi, but with a uh, larger range, which is definitely welcome. Um, it takes more CPU, so I assume it's going to have more range. Um, so that was a big problem I always had with the, uh, the Wi-Fi. The, the range on it was just not good. So I'm hoping that these just have a much greater range for the, the, the Wi-Fi. Or maybe that's just something entirely different. Actually, here's your regular Wi-Fi. 
And these are enhanced matter transmitters. I got to assume they're Wi-Fi, so they're just better versions of the Wi-Fi. And they each cost more in CPU. So, again, very, very cool. Other notable uh, changes on Reforged Eden 2, if you look at journal parts for pretty much all the creations, you'll see that there's different tiers of thrusters uh, at different size levels. So, like, uh, like this thruster here, this uh, large ion thruster, you could upgrade it to this one over here, large anima animator thruster. And in some cases, maybe not in this, maybe not on HVs, but in some other cases, uh, well, wait a minute. So we got large ion, large plasma, and large animator. So basically, most of the thrusters have three tiers of upgrades is what I've been seeing for whatever size class they're in. Like the bigger one here uh, goes to that one, which then goes to this one. Same thing with, uh, you know, if I was looking at CVs and the, uh, and the drive thrusters, uh, three different versions of those as well, each one having more thrust power. So uh, effectively speaking, if you were building a smaller ship uh, or something that was used in smaller thrusters like this, you could, uh, without having to redo your whole mounting bracket and make it bigger, you could keep on upgrading these thrusters throughout your gameplay to have more thrust up to two tier levels above where they uh, come stock, at least. Um, so that's another viable option there, too. So... I mean, there's a, there's a lot of really cool stuff I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to, and that's kind of why I really wanted to start switching over to Reforged Eden 2. I know I'm early. I know it's not ready. It, it says that. Um, but there's, it's just really cool, all the work and time and effort to develop all this stuff that's been going into it. The new models are looking really, really good. Um, and there's so many things I haven't even touched on yet um, on all kinds of other parts and things um, like the new quantums and ah uh, anyway kind of uh, kind of excited about it um, right now I mean of, of course uh, positive effects especially on starter things I'm I'm a little worried about uh, uh, existing core nine builds with translation and it was said many times too that you're going to kind of want to rebuild or build some new creations for reforging in two because it is uh, quite a bit different than reforging in one is. Um, but it's it's encouraging to see though that at least certain categories of creations, especially around the starter categories, are translating really well to Reforged Eden 2. Um, it's just the Core 9 builds currently are not uh, translating very good, um, and would require either not to be used anymore or to be uh, highly uh, changed and altered in different ways that are not good ways. <laughs> Um, to make them work so that that's kind of uh, kind of uh, my preliminary uh, thing on it right now and I, I plan on doing more videos on Reforged Eden 2 I want to dive into things more um, um, I'll keep on work on this creation see how it comes out and uh, go from there and there's a lot of stuff I don't know yet I just wanted to get a video out kind of show you what I've been working on and ex doing a lot of experiments right now experiment phase to see how things are going to work out in the end um at least at least at at the level that reforged eden's at currently uh reforged eden 2 is at currently which is work in progress in development so there you have it anyway uh beyond that please let me know if you have any questions or um uh, let me know if i'm getting some things wrong too like you know I, i've been comparing all these uh previous core 9 builds to what presumably is a core 7 build now and of course core 7 has less CPU available than Core 9, but I don't know. Should I be uh, going back and putting in superior cores and assuming those are the new Core 9s? You know, that could fix a lot of these problems I've been seeing with uh, all these Core 9 builds not having enough CPU to, to function correctly anymore. Um, and, and that very well could be the answer. And maybe those, uh, those quantum processors that the superior cores need are something much easier to obtain in the game. Um, than what uh, existing quantum core or auxiliary core was uh, to to get. Um, and if that's the case, you know, then I, I, all these numbers are a little bit wrong. The biggest, uh, the biggest change would you'd have to have room available in your creations to fit, uh, especially those superior cores that are two by two blocks areas. Um, you just have to accommodate for the, you know, the, the different size cores. Um, and then it's, 
really not a big deal at all. Um, but I don't know that for sure. Um, if Core 7 uh, or 2 Basic, 2 Improved, and 2 Advanced Cores are the new Core 9, then there's an awful lot of kinds of creations that we're just really not going to be able to build unless they need a lot of quantum or auxiliary cores, such as like any kind of functioning halfway decent tank or SV or something. Um, it's just not enough CPU to, to do anything with it. Um, and, and that's not even getting into shield parts or any of that other stuff either. Uh, so it's, it's, I'm probably getting things wrong. So anyway, y'all have yourself a great day and I will talk to you later.